Tree rings offer insight into devastating radiation storms and the implications for the destruction of the modern world. Now, a University of Queensland study has shed new light on mysterious, unpredictable, and potentially devastating kind of astrophysical event. Now, a team led by Dr. Benjamin Pope from the University of Queensland School of Mathematics and Physics applied cutting-edge statistics to data from millennium-old trees to find out more about these radiation storms. Now, these huge bursts of cosmic radiation that are known as Miyake events, because of the person who descri uh, first described it, physicist Fusha Miyake, actually measured isotope abundance in ancient tree rings to uncover these solar eruptions from thousands of years ago. And many people thought that they were just massive solar flares or solar flare events like the Carrington event. But what we're going to reveal is that there is something quite different and even more dangerous and unknown. Now, these Miyake events are well known. And we've talked about the Charlemagne event back in 774 as being the reason why native cultures all pecked into the rock the same petroglyphs, squatter man. And now it even makes more sense. Now the leading theory is that these events were huge solar flares. But we need to know more because if one of these happened today, it would destroy technology, including satellites, internet cables, long-distance power lines, transformers, and more. It would, it would also light the world on fire. Now, the effect on global infrastructure would be literally unimaginable. And then enter the humble tree ring and these young lads. Now, first author, Qing Yuan Zhang, and you can see that little guy there, third from the left. An undergraduate math student developed software to analyze every available piece of data that existed in the world on tree rings. And because you can count a tree ring to identify its age, you can also observe historical cosmic events going back thousands of years. We have tree rings back 5,000 years, Mr. Zhang said. Now, when radiation strikes the atmosphere, it produces radioactive carbon-14, which then filters through the air, oceans, plants, and animals, and produces an annual record of radiation in these tree rings. Now, the team modeled the global carbon cycle to reconstruct the process over the last 10,000 years. And this was to gain insight into the scale and nature of these so-called Miyake events. Now, the common theory until now has been that Miyake events are giant solar flares. But the results in this study challenge this, Mr. Zhang said. And what they've shown is that they're not correlated with sunspot activity. And that's mind-blowing. And some of these events actually last one or two years. Could you imagine a Carrington event lasting for two years when the actual Carrington event lasted for about a week? And so these events, rather than a single instantaneous explosion or super flare, is something much different. What we may be looking at is some type of astrophysical storm or extended outburst, the likes of which have never been witnessed, and we can't even imagine what that means, especially for people living on the surface. Now, Dr. Pope said that the fact scientists don't know exactly what these Miyake events are and the data that they've just uncovered, or even how to predict their occurrence, is extremely disturbing. Because based on available data, there is roughly 1% chance of seeing another one within the next decade. 
And after that, it gets even higher. But there, scientists don't know how to predict it or what harm it may cause. Well, I, I can tell you what harm it may cause. It would completely knock the entire planet back into the Stone Age. And with an extended period of solar output like this, the cosmic radiation would be epic. It would cause, literally, a mini-mass extinction and put major pressure on the biome. And in the technological world we live in, it would bring it to an end. And there would be no way to restart it if this is, event is lasting for years. You couldn't start rebuilding it. Everything you rebuilt would be fried. So the, the odds are quite alarming. And they definitely lay the foundation for future and further research. Now, the research was published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society, Mathematical, Physical, and Engineering Sciences. And so we should be on the lookout for something new and unexplained. What they found is these Miyake events are something that are not known. They're not a Carrington event. And in fact, if, a Car if the Carrington event back in 1859 had lasted until 1860, the earth as we know it might be much different. It would have literally burned the entire, albeit minor, infrastructure that existed at that time, sending us back to the Stone Age back then. So these events are significant. And it's ever more apparent that whatever the natives were seeing during these events, they were definitely etching on the rocks. And the entire question of Squatter Man and the plasma petroglyph tour was to get to the bottom of it. And now science is revealing the truth. That these Mayaki events are prolonged solar storms that can last years, bringing accelerated and accentuated aurora all the way down to the equator and illuminating the night skies for native populations in ways they've never witnessed. And of course, they're going to record it on the rock. Absolutely mind-blowing. And that's a boom to knowledge. I hope you got something out of the video. Lee and I are going to do the fourth episode of Cosmic Catastrophe on Revolution Radio tomorrow at noon, Mountain Time, where we're going to discuss the Carolina Bays. So join us there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. Many scientific breakthroughs are coming in the months and years to come. We are on the cusp. And we thank each and every one of you, the heroes that share this video. We love you. Be safe.